So I know I'm starting this video staring at the ground. I don't know what it is with my YouTube subscribers being so happy when I buy cars. All 2,600 of you, which realistically isn't that much, but you guys know about this car. Nobody really cares about the Jeep. And you know about that car. What you also, some of you know about just from me talking about it on uh, Discord, this part. What you don't know about is a new toy I bought today. It's not this, obviously. We all know I have a love for golfs. I bought a Mark IV. It is a two liter auto. I had to compromise with the girlfriend. She didn't want me having another stick shift car in case she had to drive it. I can understand that. But this is a two liter 2004 Volkswagen Golf. Got it for kind of a steal. 2200 bucks out the door, including tax and everything. Don't mind my dead grass. That's where the pool that's over there was. But it's not in bad shape, honestly. I mean, yeah, it's got some rust. It needs the cover for this light. You know, needs the cover for that. But the interior, fairly clean. Like I said, it's an automatic, that's fine. But it's pretty clean, you know? It's, the only things I really worry about is the trunk, very rusty near the handle and some other surface rust that realistically I can use to learn how to Bondo. But even then I still need to learn to do that because I got a little issue here under my door on this car. I don't know how blurry that was because I can't see my screen. But I think I got a good deal. You guys want a series of my friends and I working on this thing? I have this funny little idea. Just a funny idea. I want to see how many parts from that fit on here. Because, granted, I don't know much about cars. I just know basically part names. And I know other info, like uh, just other miscellaneous things, like how to fix basic things. So lowering springs to me. Springs are springs. Can I take the springs from the Prelude and put them on this and lower it and not have to buy lowering springs made for a 2004 Golf? Can I also do a custom turbocharged setup with the turbocharger that's sitting in my garage that needs fixed? These are all questions that if you guys want to go along for the ride, I'll do it with my friends. I'll go buy some GoPros, set them up in the garage. And uh, we'll get it going. We're gonna gut this car. I'm gonna leave the back seats for my son because it is supposed to be a daily replacement for that so I don't have to daily it anymore. It is 200,000 miles, so there's definitely gonna be an engine overhaul that I'm gonna definitely learn a ton about. But let's go for it. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. <laughs> Hope you guys are excited for future videos on the car and Whatever other shenanigans we get into, peace out guys.